He brought his uh, Bronco in recognition of O.J. Simpson passing. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind he did that. You know what I mean? I know that. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised he doesn't have a little, hey, I'm surprised he doesn't have a half mass flag on his uh, O.J. Simpson <laughs> vehicle. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> How you doing? Look, right. What year is this? 93. 93. 93. And what's your... It's a project truck. Yeah. Hey, do you want a donut? I get donuts over my car. I get donuts, coffee. I'm serious. I went to Dunkin' Donuts and bought coffee. No, you're fine. I bought coffee and donuts for the regulars, if you're interested. But anyways, it's your project F-150 truck, correct? Yes. I do use it as a truck as well. Piece of crap in your bag. Okay. I do we're, actually we're, use it for a truck as well. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, you got your collection there, but that's not for this. Is you, you're yeah, just oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So when did you get this truck? I got this two years ago from my buddy Cole. He was he, he, the motor in it was very very. <laughs> He's laughing. I, He's like, I know Cole. <laughs> well, okay. he bought it. He bought it for he bought it for twelve hundred bucks from an old guy in Lovettsville, and apparently the um, because it was all, like his, his wife drove it. Yeah. Um, and she didn't take care of it, so that old motor was full of so much sludge. I couldn't save it. I tried so what motor was in it? It was it was originally a, um, a 302 Windsor. I put a I put a I put a 302 high output from a Fox body. Oh wow! And put forged rods, pistons. So this seems like a little body. sleeper thing. You told me she's yeah. a sleeper truck. Guy rolls up. Ah, look at this guy's old truck rusted out. I mean, and then bye bye. I mean, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's only pushing 400. But that's about it. Yeah, that's respectable. That's it. I got a 400 horsepower truck. Lowered, F-150, well, the goal little race truck. The goal, the goal is probably 800 for you or 700. Yeah, I want to, I want to do a five. I want to lower it, just make it nice. So naturally aspirated, no supercharger. Uh, no, I do have a blower, and I do have to get ready to cut a hole in it. <laughs> okay, that's the next project. <laughs> yeah. So, but if you put the blower on it, you're gonna go 100, 100 horsepower more. You're saying is that what you're kind of gonna keep it at? Well. Well, 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 I was gonna keep it like 500 for now, just do it like this. Until, yeah. Until, until maybe like two or three years down the road, then I'll do the blower. I'll put like the big slicks on the back. Yeah. Have fun with it. Oh, you'll be like the race truck on that show. Was, was it Street Laws? Street Laws, whatever. Oh yeah. The other part. You have to put a cap on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that'll be great. All the <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, wasn't that great? That was a that was a great series. Mm -hmm. Who didn't just love that guy? He'd race the Porsche guy and beat him in his farm truck. Open <laughs> That's nitrous canister. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, well, we appreciate your information. I got a YouTube channel called Ice Age TV. If you want to watch yourself, you'll be on there. Ice Age TV. Ice Age TV? It means internal combustion engine age. Because the EV age wants to get rid of us. You know that story. But they're not going to get rid of us. No. We won't go away quietly, right? Oh, and yeah. if I, yeah, if you, once again, if you, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, we got we to gotta go find, uh, we got to find Steve. In recognition of the OJ, the OJ Bronco. I mean, come on. If you understand that, you'll get it. Now, who's, we know, oh, here's my friend, Jim. Where's Jim? Remember Jim we met last week? Hey, so get this. This should be, hey, how you doing? Yes. This should be half mass flag on the OJ Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> He's a tribute to OJ yeah, well, our good friend Steve who takes all the pictures. Uh -huh. I gotta get his attention. He's he's way over here. I gotta get get him to come over here. Hey Steve! Hey Steve! I gotta get Mr. Steve. We got we got it. We gotta talk about the OJ. Hey, come on over here, Mr. OJ man. I need your help. Where where is the half mass flag in honor of OJ Simpson? Gonna get some new tags that say no Jay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, this would have should have brought. You should have got a flag. Uh, it had half bass. Uh, and the, uh, it, uh, the driver who was Al. Yeah, Al Collins. Yes, I got the uh, football card hanging from the rearview mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Isn't that something? Cool. Hey, great. Yeah, really. Hey, I brought you coffee That's and great. donuts. Oh, thank you. I did. It's over at my car. Okay. I mean, sincerely, if you want one, okay. you better go there now. Okay. Come yeah. on. Do you know we're driving today? No. Okay. Why? Well, never know what. It's always a crapshoot as to what you're, what you're going to be driving. Okay, well, let's let's go over here and show you. We brought twins. I brought twin cars today. Yeah, I'm here. So how's the... Uh... All right, 
I parked in the, like, the very back row. The, the, uh, the, 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 the Camaro? So here's the first one. Have you you've seen that one oh, though? Yeah, I've seen that one. But if you, you haven't That's seen my girl, news, man. why you still got that? Say what? Why you still have this? What? I mean, this has been That's hers. Uh, well, okay. mine. You haven't, but you haven't seen my dark horse. I, I don't think you've seen my dark horse, have you? Uh, no. But there, I get look at I did. I got creative. I put I put a sticker on my coffee cup to promote my channel, and I got some donuts. But I didn't put the sticker on the donut. Hey, you want a coffee? Want a donut? I brought it to people who come to the show. I'm sincere. Okay. Just uh, giving back. That's all it is. You want a coffee? You want a donut? No, I'm good, man. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to give back to the regulars, like the Steve man here. That gets, we'll get his whole lens all powdered up. All yeah, he gets right. ice age TV. They'll be looking at his pictures going, Walk that no good. Like I just did a line of coke or <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah, exactly know. right. Yeah. So, uh. So yeah, we got the. Uh, hey, do you want a co you want a uh, coffee and donut? I brought one, Daddy, for you. Did you? Yeah, take it. You're a regular. How's the car running? Oh, I love this thing. I mean, this is in. I had the GT 500s. I sold them. I sold the GT 500s, my Mach one, to wait for the new series. Yeah. And I and it's it is it is a really it's different. Is it's it? nice. Oh, it is. It is. So grab grab a coffee and grab a. Uh, pr pr no, you're fine. Promote my channel. Take my my coffee cup too. And we got cream and sugar in there. But no, it is. It really is. This is now 500 horsepower. And I took my daughter, so we got the same cars, except hers is the GT. And we did a, a Steeda lowering suspension on it. But I, I have a Whipple supercharger on order for five months right now. So I'm going to have a whole channel video on that maybe in May. It's supposed to be in by the end of the month. And this thing, this thing's already a blast. But it really, it does. You know that, you know, you have the Mustang. You know the cars. And it is. And you have that, that your bullet, which you've done so many mods to, the average person would never know. Yeah, it looks it do, looks just regular. They don't know what you've done to it though. The best thing to do is the suspension. You got to do the stop the wheel hop kit. Right, right. Okay. You got to do the chassis braces that triangulate then, the subframe. That's you got to do that. That's what we did on this one over here. I put the, I put the G track brace on mine in the front. Okay. A lot because I've got the older, not the really good trad manual. I don't right. Know the but I put the rear, uh, the rear uh, uh, tranny mounts. Yeah. Around. Mine. Right, right. And then I got the adjustable front and rear sway bars. Oh wow! Then I put the uh, the vertical links, the poly vert. I didn't yeah. do it. Yeah. The poly, the vertical yeah. polys on the rear. Right. That sucker hangs and turns. The rear end does not move at all. Wow. I had Bob Sullivan in it. Yeah. We were coming back over on in Maryland on the inter on, on three seventy. Right. Up in Gaithersburg, and I didn't know they were familiar with the road. He was dropping his car off at Tony's up in Gaithersburg before that place. I would come around this corner. I must be doing forty. It says thirty miles an hour. I just came around. All of a sudden, it just tightens right up. I mean, yeah, but you you have your other fabulous car. What's your other fabulous car? <laughs> My old five Jetta. Uh, so when you when you get in that Mustang, you're like, wow. Well, I just threw it up and I'm shifting. Right, right, right. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah. Mustang's fun to drive. Yeah, your Mustang's way over there. So that's it. You'll keep that thing forever. Yeah, probably. I think you will. Because I like normally aspirated. Right. Yeah, like they don't make them. They don't make that anymore. Not. I like doing the asteroid when I put my foot on it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we had we had donuts all gone. Going to coffee. No, man. Look at my belly, man. I don't need get, that stuff. Get a coffee. <laughs> coffee. I can't do it this morning. All right. Well, I'm just trying to promote my channel with like yeah, giving out coffee. Uh, last year, but I just am in town, out of town. Yeah. yeah so the channel is Ice Age TV, Internal Combustion Engine Age. Hey, Gary. I got you a coffee over there. Go over to the Ford Mustang, front of the car, my Ford Mustang hood up. I got your guys' coffee. Yeah. Dunkin' Donuts. I got you Dunkin' Donut coffee. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I had donuts for you guys, but yeah. I already took them. So if you go to the front of my Mustang where Julie is, you feel free to take my cups and have a coffee. All right. So, all right, so now this gentleman here is being very nice, and he's telling me about his Marauder Galaxy. What's it? Marauder. Marauder Mercury. Galaxy Mercury. 
is it a galaxy or a Mercury or it's the, it's the Mercury's version of the galaxy. So it's Mercury. I'm going to guess it's a 1966. 63 and a half. Oh, that's when I was born. First okay. year of the Marauder name. Look at this here. Look at that. Wow. It's all original interior. Replacement headliner. Andy Griffith years. Yeah. Is this the Andy Griffith years? Pretty much. So you're saying that you bought this how long ago? Four years ago. And when you got it, this was the, or the car looked or you sent it away? I've done, I've done nothing to it except replace the headliner. It was ripped and I had to find a replacement. If you look at the pattern, it's like looks like stars. But yeah. You look really close. It's little M's for Mercury. So... So the Marauder, Marauder, that's from some. That's a. Is that like a uh, military guy or something, or what's, what's the icon of the person? Oh, that's the Mercury, the Mercury head. Okay, the gotcha. Mercury God. Mercury God. There you go. Okay. Some, like the Mercury dimes. Yeah. Okay. Almost looks like the FTD floors symbol. Yeah, I get you right. Okay, so this car was a, a California car. It was built in St. Louis, sold originally in Oregon. Then a guy in California had it, and when he had it back in 2002, Mercury contacted him to do the club he was in about doing marketing for the Marauder when they brought the name back out. This looked like the Crown Victorias. Yeah, uh-huh. This car right here is this car. Really? And oh, that he, is so cool. And he got a letter from Ford thanking him to use it, and they did a DVD on the history of the Marauder. Wow. And that DVD and the poster were at Mercury dealerships. Yeah. You get it. Um, Parnelli Jones raced Mercury's in the 60s. He's driving this car. And he signed the driver's visor. Oh, nice. It's faded, but you can still see it. Yeah. So, and two years later, this car was in Hemming's Muscle Magazine. Because when I first bought it, it still had that license plate on it. Oh, wow. You're right. So then he sold it to a guy in Tennessee. Wow. That guy took the four barrel off and put a manifold set up with three twos on here. Oh, yeah. So what motor is in this? It's a 390. 390. Okay. So now it's a 390 with three twos, tri-power. So you but you left it alone. So it's still... I have not touched it except tuning it up and oil changes. Okay. So what type of power does this thing have? Roughly, you think? Probably about 350. Okay. And so, what drew you to this? I mean, for you as an individual, what you did you have? Were you fixated in this like your younger was, guy or something? No, or? actually, I was the Oldsmobile. We've had Oldsmobiles my whole life. I used to be with the Oldsmobile Club that's over there. Okay. I had two different '68 Cutlass convertibles. Okay. Like a dummy. Everyone regrets selling them. Yeah. Uh huh. So then I started looking for a new toy. And I was looking for a Galaxy, which is basically the same body style. And I saw online the 64 Marauder. It's a little bit different. The taillights are more oval. Yeah. And the grill comes out to a point instead okay. of coming in. But I was looking on Hemmings and all the car you know, websites and everything. I found this on Car Gurus, of all places. Wow. It's being sold out of Brentwood, Tennessee. Oh, nice. We're Tennessee people. I used to work down there at Brentwood. Yeah. Service merchandise. Oh, doors. nice. Right. We're down there in Johnson City. But my whole, my mother came from Savannah, Nashville area. Okay. So uh, we love Tennessee. So you drove down there to go get her? They nope, bring it to I, you on a rollback? They, they brought it to me. I bought it sight unseen except for pictures. So when you got it and you got in the car and you actually drove it, was it what you thought it would be? Yes. It's big so, and to, heavy and got a lot of power. Okay. So you weren't disappointed no not at all you knew what you were getting yes a tank basically yes <laughs> right <laughs> so <laughs> oh my gosh so the uh original wheels nope the I didn't wheels think Krager, those Kregers or something american. american yeah thrust. the wheels that tachometer and the carburetor sit up are the only thing that aren't original the seats the carpet it's a replacement headliner but you can still see so it it's a three speed automatic mm -hmm. two speed automatic two speed uh, original steering wheel, right? Yep. The horn. Wheel, the horn's right yeah. here. Yep, those buttons are right here. Yep. Um, but glass. As it came this way, I'm assuming it's the original glass. That's original hard to believe. Job. Wow. Now, how many miles are on it? 104. So, it does get driven, which in some ways, that's a good thing. Yes. And original... Um, 
the chrome in here is just yes. that, is that an original? It'd be hard to believe it was because it's just a deterioration. Most of the ones I've seen are they're a bronze color. Okay. Where the guy got these, I have no idea. Okay. So no air conditioning. No air conditioning. Um, you have power boost assist. Yes. Probably drum all the way around. Exactly. Okay. So you gotta be careful not to get too close behind somebody. Right. Um, 390 cubic inch motor. Yes. Uh, the radiator. You think the radiator is original? I'd be. Oh, yes. But really, you think yeah. it's original? Oh yes. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Um, all right. So your starter relay, right? Yeah. Is this your starter relay. You got your uh, front distributor set up on it. Points. Yeah, for the younger generation, they're clueless what all this stuff is. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, back in the day, you and I were. You know, taking the replacing the spark plugs. We come over that. here. You take the distributor cap off. Put a new uh, rotor and cap on it. You put new, uh, and then you may have to take the uh, distributor and kind of fine you it get for a little bit. get your little uh, your little gun that would uh, flash the for the timing. You know what I mean? And then if you did your brakes, you had to figure out how to breathe the brakes without. You know, and then oh, here's your fuel pump. Yeah. And. That's your oil pump down there. No, that's that's, the, the that's power something. Assist. That's a power assist pump. Right. But that other filter down there. That's See, that's the oil filter. filter. That's the oil filter. Okay, that's gotcha. The oil filter. And this is for the power okay. steer or power assist. That is. I would think that would be the fuel uh, pump. Yep. You sure about that? But I see what you're you saying. You could be right. Just yeah, because it's going. These lines are coming. Yeah, from. yeah. So that's the fuel pump right here. Because look, look at the line comes up right. in here. Okay. Those are those carburetors. And then, uh, so the uh, I wonder what type of shocks, like the independent suspension. You know what I mean? So like, who's? I mean, look. Springs in the back. Wow. And you got so, so does this thing have a radical exhaust to it? It's got uh, aftermarket the exhaust. There's the race guy. That guy just wants to go fast. Does that thing just sound badass or what? Do you lose your you license? Come. There's, there, there's my buddy Jim. I'm surprised he didn't come over and say hey to me today. Wow, that's a cool guy. Met last week and uh, couldn't find him. Um, so all right. So, uh, did you, are you married? I am married. Did the wife give you approval? No. Ha ha ha. Beg and plead. I, I talked, sleep on the couch. I talked her into it. I basically. Huh? Guess, like I said, I bought it out of Tennessee. She went to vet school in Tennessee. Okay, so here's a question. You don't have to tell us how much you pay for it, but what's it worth? Uh, what's your guess? I would say 25 Okay. At least. Do you think it'll hold that? Yes. So. Because this model, this is a mid-year production, and it's the S55 model, which gave it the bucket seat, center console, yeah. interior lights. They only made 2317 Okay, but the question is, who's looking for these? I have no idea. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, that's all the thing. It's always about... Maybe people like me, I was looking for a Galaxy, but I couldn't afford one. And this so the Galaxy's the big box. About, Galaxies are big box. All right. They're restored, yes. All right, so all the instrumentation works, the lighting works. Yes. The blinkers radio, work. The radio works. The windshield wipers work. Yes. All works. And what's your fuel mileage? <laughs> Probably eight to ten. Uh, if you're not into it, and the good old push, the push button AM radio. Yes. AM only. AM only. Wow. And the good old, you got to manually open your vents for those actually oh, yeah. slide the vents back and forth. Yep. You got to pull thing. Here's that your choke. Yes. That's your choke right there. Well, these no, these are the air vents. Where's your Where's your choke? I don't have. It's like. Oh, it's electronic, electronic uh, carburation. Yep. The guy replaced with that. That's pretty cool. Left side ignition switch over there, which that's really cool. Um, so how much does this thing weigh? 5,500 pounds, 6,000? 3,900. Really? Does it have a birth date on it? Do you know the birth date? I do. That's that's one of the key issues that I talked to wife into it. It came off the assembly line June 29th. That's our wedding anniversary. Wow. But the same year, but- I was gonna say, I don't think, yeah, you've aged well. Hey, Mr. Ferrari man, you got competition here. It's a 390 motor. Wait, only weighs 4,000 pounds. 
Right, right. Yeah. See, I'd have, to, I'd have to build an extension on my garage. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you wouldn't know how to act in this thing. You'd feel like you're in the Titanic. <laughs> He's at the Ferrari. Yeah. Drive a Ferrari and jump in this. And you'll be thinking you go from the driver's side to the passenger side and go around the corner, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, hey. All right, I'm going to cut it off there. All right, so is that an E85? Look at that thing. Is that an E85? Wow. All right, hey, great talking to you. And uh, if you, if you can take a picture of my uh, channel on my car if you want to remember. That way, if you get home, you're like, it's on my, it's on my back window over here, my uh, Mustang over here. And I got a lot of different cars. So, uh, so yeah, I was confused when you first talking about this. I thought you were talking about this. I'm like, what? I'm like, what are you talking about? But this is that guy. This is that guy there where he gets to really, he's got, you know, look at what he has. Look at this thing here. I mean, wow. Yeah. Oh, you know, I don't need I don't need to know a lot about this. Hey, did you see my channel? You saw you saw yourself on my channel, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, did. yeah, yeah. You got yeah. a lot of views. Oh, is that right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah. What happened? Well, why? Hey, you have five minutes, right? Quick. Why don't you, why don't you just drive that quick? We just go right down here. Ah, just really. No way, I want one. No, you won't. You I, won't will. One. <laughs> I will. I will. Now, the, right now. The energy in the air is not right for that right now. Just the trust me. The energy's not no, right right no, now. No, 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 no. It's yeah, not. It's like not. Going. Yeah, yeah. Not. You'll know that at a later time. Okay. 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 Just there's something going on right now. Okay. All right. Go to jail. Do a burnout. Do a burnout. Go to jail. Right. <laughs> yeah. He's he's uh, supercharged that thing. Yeah, he put a whipple on it. Well, he already has one, but he changed it. Yeah, yeah, he changed. It. Goes my good friend Brent right there in the Chevy. <laughs> there it is, the Z06. But they got a ZL1 coming. I should have asked him about that today. Next time we see, him, remember to talk about that. There he goes. Sounds like a yeah. This thing sounds like a freaking Ferrari. It sounds like an F1. You know what I mean? Comes the other Gary. Former Navy man. Second Hellcat. Other one got destroyed. Yeah, he was right up here at the where the road comes into Leesburg. All right, it's time to call it another day at the Leesburg show. Look, the guy that talks all the time, every left. I chased them all off. Can you blame them? Let's get the juice box, box of Joe. See that? Hey, the, all the donuts went away, but the coffee cups, not so much. Just having a bunch of nice coffee for myself, right? And there's the kid. There's the kid with the exhaust note. I mean, the exhaust note like you can't believe, right? She just loves that car. It's all about the noise. Oh, we got a sleeper truck over here. There he is. There's the guy. Yeah, it sounds like he's got a little bit of a uh, a note in that thing, right? Yeah, listen to that thing. Rumble. Oh, here he comes. Is he gonna is he gonna do a burnout for us? <laughs> All right, we're heading out, and just a great group of people here, and. Uh, Great day, a lot of talking, and it's all about the cars. Always about the cars. Always about the exhaust, though. So we shall see. Dad, up here, the kids are already gone. You know, can't blame her. It's like, Dad, Dad, Dad. So. All right, here we is. Here we is back at the house. Where's the kid? Oh, she's back. As another great Sunday and a beautiful Sunday for us. Just really blessed. As always, blessed. As always, I hope people enjoy the videos and you feel like you're there at the car show. And it really was a successful car show. 
So for all those that do watch my channel, I really do appreciate the support and the help. I need every bit of help I can have, <laughs> for sure. But anyways, there it is, kids in the car hanging out. One thing's for sure, grass needs to be cut, birds need to be weed, just tons and tons of projects. And there's the kid looking pretty, hanging out over there. What's going on? This doesn't end, does it? Here's a question. Is that color Bronco the same color as that vehicle? She says no. All right, I got the old man glasses on. Everybody stay tuned for the Monday morning conversation. What will that be about? What will the Monday morning conversation? And for the record, who would, which one would you take? If you could have either car, would you take the Mustang GT or the uh, the Mustang Dark Horse? Hey everybody, thanks for watching my channel today. I'm making a redundant video here, but here's the one. It'd be a shorty. Hey everybody out there, what should you take? The Mustang 2024 Dark Horse S650 Series manual that's all factory except the exhaust? Or would you take the other, my daughter's car, the 2024 Mustang GT, steeded suspension, coil springs, lowering, uh, Corsa pipe, Roush exhaust, uh, front and rear uh, sway bar or, or bars and shorty shifter. Which car do you think has the more pizzazz? Which one do you, would you take? If I said, here, I'm going to give away a car today, which one would you want? Sincerely, reach out. But that's it. Look for the morning conversations on Ice Age TV. And thanks for having me watch my channel today. God bless. Have a great Sunday.